South Sea Spray is a street art festival in Riverton, New Zealand. It's a collection and collaboration with some of New Zealand's finest street artists. We've got Phlox, Trust Me, SQ1, Yikes, Erica Pierce, Cal Sunshine and Icarus. I'm Danny Owen, aka Dio. I've been painting graffiti for about 20 years now. I originally came up with the idea of South Sea Spray, obviously to beautify the beautiful, yet kind of dull town of Riverton. And it was just a means to add a little colour back into the community. I mean, in doing so, I've been really blindsided by the impact it's had and uh, the community contribution from the youth, from the elderly, from all the locals who have really shared and, and given that southern hospitality, which has really made South Sea Spray what it is. Riverton will enjoy it, because <laughs> They have put a lot of effort on that and it's cool. This is transformational for the town, there's no doubt about that. And the quality of the artists they've got is just phenomenal. I really like the Aparima, um, oh, River Aparima one. I really like the colours on it. Painting murals is about um, connecting with community, and connecting with locals and I guess turning their voice or you know their thoughts and their voices into something pictorial that they can all relate to. I think that this piece has definitely connected with people. Eh? Mm. We've had so much positive feedback. Typically you're going to look at um, local history. Essentially what we've tried to do is to try and capture the idea of dual identity, dual origin. We kind of have the TT like representing that, that kind of entity that sits between places. So we've got three of them. Um, and our hero one, our hero bird that op operates in the middle for us is like the one that straddles, you know, both both cultures, both places. Years of thinking about it, but solid four months of make it happen. Feeling good, man. Um, and it, the goodness is the smiles in the community, bro. Like you know, it's the the old people, the young people buzzing and getting something out of it, you know. Absolutely oh, magnificent. Absolutely. Beautiful. Brilliant. Just Who would have thought that a beautiful plain old wall could have finished up like that? At the moment, I'm really, really passionate about raising that environmental message about protecting our oceans. So, this piece um, with the humpback whales is a little bit of a tribute to the whaling past of this area. It's something that in the, the world I've grown up in, seen as something to be protected and something to be treasured. Well I call it graffiti, now I call it art. <laughs> <laughs> you converted it's me. <laughs> it's awesome, it's so cool, like historic town like Riverton to have um, the contemporary and the modern coming in. Like look at the, look at the streets, it's, it's really awesome. So, uh, and the, just the variety of the artwork is so cool. And it's just brightened it up. Yeah, it's really awesome and so pleased the town's got together and supported them. This is inspired by this early estuary that's right there. So the whole town's surrounded by this body of water. I just think that's quite a cool concept that, that, that these two waters coming to mix together. And speaking about ebbing and flowing, which is sort of a vital piece of being a human as well, so people can relate to it on land. The thing about the way I work is that I tend to not come with a you know, concept before I've really come to the place because I, I just feel that context is really important. So the process is just like really at the moment about finding um, textures and objects in that environment that exist and then scanning those with a 3D scanner. I take those into Photoshop and, and map uh, everything on. That kind of creates the mock-up. With this one it was, it was kind of with the local commerce, the Kaimoana basically. Big props to Dio because um, you know it's very hard to articulate and to sell something that hasn't happened before in a community. So now that they've seen it, I think everyone's really just far out, yeah. jumping on board, yeah. left, right, and centre. I think the highlight is the general vibe and you know the the people, the hospitality. The hospitality in, in general. general. Never been looked after so well anywhere. No. No. Never oh. felt so welcome anywhere, to be honest. Yeah, I, I just, I want to pack you all in my bags and take you home. It'd be easier just to move your bags here. Probably just come back.